Hey guys, Fulpos here. Today we're going to be looking at how to correctly use Udia's stances in the lane whilst farming and trading. In this video, I'm going to assume that you're only putting skill points into Tiger, Turtle and Bear stance. So how do you decide what stance to passively stay in? Use Tiger stance while last hitting with the tower, as your basic attacks will be 15% stronger. This will help prevent the tower screwing up your creep score. Turtle stance should only be used when you're on low health and need the lifesteal to heal up. And finally, stay in Bear stance while you're last hitting away from your tower. This is because the stun it offers will allow you to easily disengage or turn around a trade if your foe decides to strike. Overall, the majority of your time will be spent in this form. When the enemy comes into last hit, or you simply want to begin a trade, you should stand stance as follows. Open up with bear stance. The increased movement speed and lack of unit collision will help you engage on your foe. As soon as the stun hits, switch into tiger stance and apply the damage over time. From here you can choose to walk away, or stay in tiger stance if the foe is weak to go for the kill. Otherwise, switch into turtle stance. With the insane attack speed steroid from Monkey's Agility and activating tiger stance, you will be putting the passive lifesteal to good use. When the attack speed buff begins to run out, the enemy should be stunnable again, so switch back into bear form and restart the combo. Here is a simple flow chart for the stance stance. Rotating through your abilities this way maximizes the use of Udia's forms and should easily allow you to outdraw many opponents. A final tip for Udia is to use tiger stance for cheeky free trades. Against melee opponents, you will often walk past each other during the early levels. As your enemy begins to last hit a minion, pop tiger stance, slap the dot on the enemy and walk away. This single auto attack will deal around the same damage as two auto attacks, so even if the enemy manages to hit you back, you should still come out on top. If you've learned anything from this video or simply enjoy my content, feel free to leave a like down below. Good luck using Udia and I'll see you guys next time.